Growing up, I was always that shy kid in the back of the class that knew all of the answers to all the questions the teacher asked. But I was way too scared to raise my hand. I would always be worried and thinking about what other people were thinking about me. Though I wasn't always like this. I was really into gymnastics. Doing all these really fun things that other people couldn't do made me so confident. However, when I got older, I realized how scary this world actually is. One wrong move and I could get in a car crash. One wrong sentence could be the end of a friendship. So all of a sudden, as an adult, the world got way more scary. So that is why right now I want to be more confident. I want to be my best friend and step away from that negative person I used to be. So what exactly is confidence? Confidence is the belief in yourself. You are secure in yourself and you know what your capabilities are. And you're in this mindset that when you're meeting life's challenges, you are able to succeed. Being confident in today's society really is a huge positive. People that end up being more confident become leaders and they tend to have more friends gain more credibility, make a strong first impression, and are more likely to deal with high pressure situations. Now, the big thing I have recently learned is that confidence is a skill, not a trait. Confidence is something that we learn over time. Confidence can be built by the people around us, being supported by our loved ones, and it could be the way that we talk to ourselves. Basically, positive about life in general can make you more confident. I had all these aspirations of being that role model, that leader, but I had no idea how the heck to get confident. I finished reading this book called, um, basically, <laughs> it's Norwegian, but in English it's called Be Your Best, or I would say it's more like be your best self with mental training. So right now I am on my journey of gaining confidence. So I'm only a week in, but I, I am hoping that these strategies that I've implemented this past week will last me a lifetime. <laughs> so the first one I wanna talk about is positive self-talk. This one has impacted me a lot even though it's been a week like before i honestly would say i was my biggest bully i would always think of the negative things i'd be like oh you're not good enough uh you shouldn't do this um and always giving myself doubt and a reason to fail you should cheer yourself on and look at the positive sides of your situation and what you're going to do your challenges everything first thing in the morning I actually have my phone on my desk, so I have to get up and turn off the alarm. And right under my phone, I have a little sticky note that says, what is one thing that you look forward to today? And I know it sounds like such a small little step that seems kind of meaningless, like it's not gonna have a huge impact. I have to say it has really helped me just start off on a positive note. Instead of being like groggy and coming out of bed and being like, oh my gosh, I need to drive to this place and this is so terrible, like I don't have the energy to do this. Instead of thinking like that, I just switched it and I'm like, oh, I get to see my friend today and I haven't seen her in a while. Just focusing on the positive things. Every day I write down positive affirmations. So I physically write down, for example, I am beautiful, I am strong, I am capable, and I am kind. Maybe at first it's kind of hard to come up with these things and truly feel them, but I found out that over the past few days I'm starting to believe it more and more like it's sticking here. Another thing I do to build my confidence is answering reflective questions specifically about confidence. So I basically journal every day. 
Now, usually I like to do like one question where I'm more critical and more reflective, like what is one of the hardest things you've been through or how has your lack of confidence held you back in life? And then I follow that up with a more positive uh, question such as, what are easy steps for you to build your confidence? What is your proudest achievement? What can you achieve with confidence? And some of these questions are kind of challenging to answer and they make you realize how you react to different things and how you can look at things in a different way. Another thing that has really helped me a lot with gaining confidence is putting emphasis on taking care of myself. I personally believe that if you can take care of yourself and you feel safe in your body that you will be able to project positivity to other people. Taking a shower every day, wearing really nice clothing, putting on nice jewelry, putting on makeup just for yourself not to impress other people. Basically taking care of your body like it's your best friend. Other things are like keeping your environment clean. I really love cleaning my room every day because it just makes me feel so clean in my head and my thoughts. You know, exercising, doing yoga helps so much just to relax your body. So a fourth thing that I want to discuss about is goal setting. If you have goals and you reach these goals, you yourself will become a confident person. So achieving a goal in one field, like a physical goal, can help make you more confident in other areas of your life. I personally don't really uh, relate to that because I've achieved a lot physically, but I haven't had that connection that, oh, since I've been able to do this physical challenge that I should be a confident person. I, that doesn't work for me, but it might work for some people out there. But for me, it's really helped having a goal and ha coming up with a plan of how to achieve the goal. And the way that I build up to achieve these goals is through visualization, which I've learned in this book. So visualization is basically going step by step in your head of what the final goal will look like. So for example, if you're an athlete and you're going to be in the Olympics, you're going to be visualizing every single step of the way to when you win the gold medal. You're going to be doing downhill skiing. And then you take the lift up and then you visualize every single turn you take and how you're feeling. What do you feel? Do you feel the wind going on your face? How are you feeling excited? Is it sunny outside? You get down to the bottom, you see all the people, you hear the cheering, and you just like get yourself mentally prepared for that event. Another way that you can become more confident through goal setting is through exposure therapy. So you can have this one goal where, okay, every time I go to a party, I'm going to be able to make eye contact, be more calm, and to be able to voice my opinion. And the way that you achieve this goal is by slowly exposing yourself. So first you go see a friend and you, you're able to voice your opinions, you're standing strong, you're smiling, and then you, you and your friend can go meet someone you haven't met before, a friend of a friend. And then you do the same thing and then you Bring it up a step and a step until you're in that situation where, okay, I'm at a party. I don't know many people, but oh my God, I am prepared for this. Like I, I'm going to go make a new friend. I am going to be my best self. So I can tell you some of my specific goals when it comes to confidence. One of my goals is to become a more confident driver talk to strangers, call friends or family I haven't talked to in a long time. And another one is being relaxed in crowded places. The last strategy you can use to gain confidence is activating the right mode. <laughs> uh, this is another thing that was brought up in this book where it's like we have different modes for different things. For example, boxers that they pound their chest to release more aggression they start cursing before their fight. Being in that mode of anger and aggression makes them the best fighter. 
Other people like to take another approach, being calm, collected, have everything under control, and that is their best way of performing. For driving, I love just taking deep, calm breaths. Calming me down for that specific thing really puts me in the right mode. So I suggest you find your best mode for different situations. So yeah, those are basically... Oh, I see a spider. Whoa. <laughs> so yeah, those are basically my strategies going forward on how I'm going to gain confidence. Hopefully my advice will help you on your journey of gaining confidence. If you like this video, please give it a like. It really helps out my channel. So I thank you guys so much every time you like my videos. Also, I love hearing you guys in the comments, so make sure to write something down and I'll reply to you guys. And if you want to see more videos like this one, you should go subscribe and hit the bell notification so you know whenever I post my videos. Okay, and that is a wrap. Thank you so much again for watching, and I'll see you next Sunday. Bye!